What's up guys, Rejinx here. This month turned out to be another busy month in VR MMOs. In this video we'll be shrinking down with Orbis's new DLC, Steam VR users get to start testing Zenith, and I got two new VR MMO projects that I found that I want to tell you about. Plus, the lovely Lacey will get you caught up on all the news bites from around the VR world. All this and more on your VR MMO news for May 2020. Hold on to your hiney, cause we're about to get tiny. On April 28th, Orbis VR released their first DLC pack. They named the pack The Secrets of Mugwood, Journey to the Hidden Microsystems of Patriot, where you will battle belligerent bugs and monstrous plants for the fate of a community of sentient lizards. That's the back of the box right up, but what does the DLC actually add? When you start the quest line, the first thing you'll be given is the Micronizer, which will shrink you down in certain parts of the world. It doesn't really shrink you in game, it actually just loads you into a separate instance which looks like a giant version of the game, so you won't be able to see other players as giants or anything like that. Then you will do a climbing tutorial which is straightforward enough. After that you'll be directed to an area near the Green Lady Temple where you will find a place to shrink down. This is where the real adventure begins. In these new areas you will encounter new enemy types, new quest lines, and a treasure map system as well as many places to climb. There's a lot of cool new gear too, but ultimately everything you gain in new content is just cosmetic. The DLC is $9.99 US and can be bought in the in-game store. On April 22nd, the Zenith official YouTube channel posted a dev update. In it, the developer said that the pre-alpha is now open to Steam VR users, but it's still not available for Quest users. Also, they said they've already improved combat in the game thanks to player feedback. And they announced they'll be conducting weekly playtests that are open to everyone, not just backers. The catch is, for the weekly playtests, it'll be more limited and it'll be small batch of players. And lastly, they announced that they are hiring even more artists and C-Sharp developers. So if you're skilled in the game industry, this might be a project that you could work on. On May 14th, Team 21 Studio posted a blog update about their upcoming game for PC VR, PSVR, and Quest, Elysia. They said that they used the money from the recent pre-Kickstarter to bring on another member of the team and that they are preparing a new multiplayer environment for their upcoming Tavern Talk. Tavern Talks are Q&As with supporters of the game that happen in VR environments built by the Elysia team. They also confirmed that the upcoming talks and all future talks will be multiplayer and available in PC VR and Oculus Quest. They said PSVR support is ready, but they're waiting on approval from Sony. The exact date for the next Tavern Talk was not given. You need the reflexes and scanning abilities of a test pilot. Wow, that was wicked. Hey Sav, you're terminated. Terminated. In December of 2018, Project Elysium started its Kickstarter. From their website, Rev3 said Project Elysium will be a VR role-playing experience for both desktop and VR. You will find a job and build yourself up in a virtual society. From the need of food and water to the dynamic economy, life in Elysium VR is extremely detailed. What stories will you make? The game is to feature 500 player servers and a host of modern vehicles and weapons, a complex job system with pre-built infrastructure for players to own, a community workshop where 3D modelers can submit vehicles and buildings to be added to the game, and all of this inside of a 100 square kilometer world. The team is sure promising a lot, but by the end of the campaign in January of 2019, they had only managed to raise 6,000 of their $40,000 goal. And that seemed like it'd be the end of the project. However, just last month, the team announced that alpha testing was about to begin. Then, just a week ago, they announced that there was major bugs that they were dealing with, so the alpha test would have to be postponed. So that's where we sit right now. I don't know whether Elysium will turn out just to be vaporware or not, but you can follow the project on their website and on their Discord. I'll leave links in the thing.
on April 30th, a group that calls themselves The New World released a trailer for what they are calling a VR MMORPG prototype that they are developing. They are calling it Project Never Dawn VR. They say in their Discord that many of the assets in the trailer are just placeholders that they are using for testing. Then on May 12th, they released a video that they're calling their map teaser. The video shows a large realistic looking landscape and a few animals in the foregrounds and some tall mountains in the background. This project seems to be in the very early beginnings of development. They said they only really started a few months ago. And some small projects like this seem to disappear before they ever get released. But I will definitely be keeping an eye on it. And you can too. I'll leave links. I wonder what the difference is between the real world and the virtual. The amount of data, that's all. Now, before we get the news bites, I wanted to plug a new show that I'm doing on this channel. I call it Into the Metaverse. It's a show where I have conversations with developers, writers, and players of VR MMORPGs. I just released my second episode last week where we talked to two VR MMO veterans about Orbis's new DLC and we discuss locomotion and movement systems that are possible in VR MMOs. If you want to give it a watch, I will leave a link at the end of the video and down in the thing. Hey guys, Lacey here with your news bites for me. A Township Tale release update 55. The main change was to how arrow hits are detected. Sandosoft, the developer of the upcoming VR MMO game Archgate, are planning to make 3D prints of items from their game. Recent leaks from Oculus point to a possible redesign for the quest, making it lighter and faster. Unreal Engine 5 was announced, and will have full support for VR devs and will be free for any project that has less than $1 million in sales. And remember, when life gives you lemons, keep them because there might be a side quest where you need a bunch of lemons. Thanks a lot, Lacey. And before I sign off, I wanted to talk about the Township Tales server that I made after last episode. So me, a group of friends, and a couple of you guys got together and we played on a private Township Tales server and we had a blast. We played hardcore for probably about two weeks and we got through just about everything in the game. So the server's still up, but we haven't really been playing too much because the Township Tale's still in alpha, they don't have a ton to do. But we definitely had a good time, and if you still want access to the private server, just still let me know. I'll leave a link in the description to the Discord, and uh, I can give you access to it. We have just about all the medals figured out and everything organized, so you can grab what you need, but make sure you replace it. And other than that, thanks for watching everybody. Man, this channel's been growing way faster than I expected and I really appreciate it. I'm excited to see that there's so many people out there just like me excited about VR MMOs. And I'll be putting one of these out every month. So subscribe to the channel if you want more of these. And uh, thanks for watching.